drink this. What the hell just happened? And who are you? I am Victor Grant. I was a friend of your father. You knew my father? How? What were you doing in the woods tonight? Have you been following me? Well, one question at a time. I knew your father because we were best of friends. We met while we were studying theology. I knew him for 10 years before he died. I knew where you were tonight because I've been following you, been following you for the past week. What? Why are you following me? Because I knew you would be in danger. How? I was told you would be. Who told you I would be in danger? That's not important. This doesn't make any sense. I'm out of here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? You're safe here, at least for tonight anyway. Besides, I have a lot more to tell you about your father. Good. Robert was very passionate, always passionate about doing God's work, especially in the rural areas in the country. That's why he took you and your mother to Tobago. Of course, it wasn't as developed as it is now. There's a lot of you know, small villages and dirt roads. And... So you knew my mother? <laughs> yes, I knew Maggie very well. Uh, but um, we didn't speak much after your father died. She became very upset with God for allowing it to happen, especially given that he was doing God's work. I would come and visit both you and your mother after Robert died, but I always felt that being a minister didn't help much, only sought to remind her of, of Robert's passing, so I stayed away. We eventually lost touch. Anyway, an opening had come up for a minister in a church in Likito. The pastor had recently died under unusual circumstances. So Robert was asked to take over. <laughs> he was very excited. I, on the other hand, felt that it would be wise to earn the side of caution. So I advised him not to go. <laughs> he didn't see it that way. He used to say, if you want to see God's work at hand, you got to go where it's needed most. <laughs> I was sent to Port of Spain to pastor another church. At first, everything was going really well for Robert. He would send letters. Then one day, I finally got a letter. Robert had written me one last time. The tone of the letter gave me chills, even today. I had heard rumors of the unfortunate death of the minister, and so I felt that... He also said that the girl's father was considered to be the village Obiaman and had offered her soul to the devil in some kind of occult ritual. What? Robert believed that... That one should take caution. One should earn a side of caution. So, I advise him. Uh, he... Uh... So, what does all of this have to do with me? But that was not the end of things. Apparently, the girl's father was not happy with what Robert had done. You see, she was a valuable asset to him. She had the gift of foresight and she could see things before they happened. So you could imagine his anger and rage when he found out that he could not use her for himself. He didn't see it that way. He used to say, if you want to see God's hand at work, you must go where he's needed most. <laughs> he 
he confronted Robert and swore by all that is unholy that he would have his revenge. So Father conjured up a powerful demon to avenge his loss against Robert and the church. Her father conjured up a powerful demon to avenge his loss against Robert and the church. It was this demon that your father confronted when he died 25 years ago.